seem like a minor crime, but it can have a big deal when it happens to you. Austin police say bicycle theft is up in Austin and you can see just how much in your own neighborhood with this interactive map we have created online to show you the hot spots across the city. You can check it out in the investigative section of KXAN.com. And during that research, we discovered through August of this year, 785 bicycles were reported stolen to APD. Detectives have cleared 97% of those cases, but that does not mean they are solved. We discovered very few cases end with owners getting their bikes back. I'd only had my bike for about a month <laughs> and I was really excited to take it out for the first time. The first time was also the last for Jill Welch. It was hard for me to believe that I'd been in for two hours. It was broad daylight. It was super busy out here and um, and that someone just took it in front of a lot of people and no one noticed. Welch says she chained her brand new $400 bicycle to a rack near Zilker Park. Which parts of town are seeing the most thefts? Again, it, it goes back to population density. We're seeing, you know, South Austin, downtown, West Campus. I mean, there's no area that's immune from bicycle thefts by any means. Court documents show bike thefts are even happening on police property. Like earlier this month, someone tried to steal a mountain bike from APD's restricted downtown parking lot. I would have liked to have heard that there was something in in progress to um, to investigate the bikes that are getting stolen. We do our best to investigate it and we take any type of theft very seriously. But we definitely want to set up a deterrent and then also prevent this as well. They were using sophisticated equipment to steal bicycles, um, remove the parts and chop them up and then sell them on the black market. What's the best lock to get? The best lock to get is a house. Put it in a house, put it in your apartment, keep it out of sight. There we go. Eventually, Welch got a replacement bike and accepted her old one is probably long gone. Because I'd purchased it not long before it was stolen, I still had the receipt. And because I had the police report and everything, I was able to actually get reimbursed from my, my credit card, which was fortunate. I'm sure that doesn't happen to most people. Police say a three-digit combo lock simply does not cut it anymore. Welch spent hundreds of dollars on a specially designed U-lock to ensure her new bicycle is not stolen again. Police say if you see people loitering around a bike rack carrying a tool a cyclist would not normally carry, call 911.